Come on in. Oh, hello. Come on in. Afternoon. Vicar. Afternoon, Chloe. <laughs> Um, hello and welcome to everybody for this week's news video. Um, hidden away in the Bible, right in the middle of the Old Testament, between the book of Judges and the book of Kings, is a tiny little book called the book of Ruth. And um, we're going to start looking at the book of Ruth over the last next four weeks. We'll be uh, digging into this amazing story, but um, it is an extraordinary book. It's only four chapters long. It's hidden away. And there's a slight hint there of the first thing that we get from this extraordinary story, which is actually um, God is at work in, in the very small things of our lives, the small little details. Here's a story of a family, one family. You can imagine the Bible talking about major, major events, but no, we're like zooming into the history and the story of one single family and the decisions that they make. Um, and God is right there um, walking alongside them. Now, it's in the middle of the Judges period, which is one of the darkest times in the Old Testament where things are most difficult. And you get that echoed because at the very beginning of the story, we have family tragedy where the husband of uh, Lady ne uh, Naomi dies and both her sons. And all we're left with is Naomi, the widow, and two sisters-in-law. And then it's the story of how um, one of them, Ruth, is incredibly faithful to her mother-in-law, Naomi, and how they, they work together. And it's a beautiful picture of um, faithful relationships when lived with God in the detail and how God redeems even the darkest of situations. And then how God sort of like works together with them to bring good out of circumstances. It just so happens that this is there and it just so happens that that is there and it just so happens that this person is there. And the whole thing at the end turns into a love story with a wedding and incredible celebration. It's a great reminder that God brings life out of death, light out of darkness, and however small we might feel that we are, because Ruth, Ruth is a foreigner and they're immigrants. They have no apparent role in society, and yet God is there interested in the detail of what they are going to do. But then at the end of the book, it's like suddenly we step back because we discover that Ruth was actually the great-great-grandmother of King David. And so suddenly we realise that actually this tiny little story hidden away in the middle of the Bible is key. It's like pivotal to the whole of God's story with humanity. Suddenly our smallest, smallest gestures and decisions can have huge, huge implications in the kingdom of God when we take those decisions and we walk with God at the heart. Amazing stuff. So we're starting it this Sunday under the title, The Best is Yet to Come looking ahead to what God wants to do. So I'd like to encourage you to read this book and then come on Sunday morning to one of our services and then over the next Sundays as we dig into this and we discover how God is faithful to us as we trust him and we walk through even the hardest parts of our lives, even the most difficult circumstances, believing that the best in his economy is yet to come for us, through us, for the world. So there you go, an amazing new programme looking through the book of Ruth. So join us this Sunday morning. Of course, you join us as well for, uh, for French Connect in the afternoon. And then we want to be praying for the new service in the afternoon, which is in the evening, uh, Create at seven o'clock in the evening, a fantastic new missional service where we're looking to reach out to new people, particularly through using the creative arts. Let's pray for that. And if you can come along at seven o'clock on Sunday evening to support that and maybe even invite people, please do. So great things this weekend. Be blessed and let's keep walking with God every step of the way in the smallest details of our lives.